I have a tiny book or not to start up of first January 2024 and a trend everywhere. Watch your video. Can you your president tie a broadcast? By your 2024 budget, now we 2024 government to get sued in the pool here. One now, happy good to have never watch this video. Matos, I know I have a to everywhere. They are compatriots. It gives me immense joy to welcome each and every one of you, young and old, to this brand new year, 2024. Though the past year was a very challenging one, it was eventful in so many ways. For our country, it was a transition year that saw a peaceful, orderly, and successful transfer of power from one administration to another, marking the yet another remarkable step in our 24 years of, of unbroken democracy. On the basis of which you voted me as president, everything I have done in office, every decision I have taken, and every trip I have undertaken outside the shores of our land. Since I assumed office on 29th May 2023, I have been done in the best interest of our country. Over the past seven months of our administration, I have taken some difficult and yet necessary decisions to save our country from fiscal catastrophe. One of those decisions was the removal of fuel subsidy, which had become an unsustainable financial burden on our country for more than four decades. Another was the removal of the chokehold of few people on our foreign exchange system that benefited only the rich and the most powerful among us. We are moving a step further in our quest to restart local refinery of petroleum products with Potter Court Refinery and the Dangote Refinery, which shall fully come on stream. To ensure constant food supply, security and affordability, we will step up our plan to cultivate 500,000 hectares of farmland across the country to grow maize, rice, wheat, millet and other staple crops. We launch the dry season farming with 120,000 of land in Jigawa State last November under our National Wheat Development Program. To my political opponents in the last election, election is over. It is time for all of us to work together for the sake of our country. We must let the light each of us carries, men and women, young and old, shine bright and brighter to illuminate our path to a glorious dawn. I wish all of us a happy and prosperous year 2024. May God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Peter Baker Hong Kong, Kanka Brehamu Tadirun, Murukun and Kim Madamiri, 